finally doing it. We're doing it. It's happening. Hello. Hello. Yo. This is... I'm Essie Holt. And we're doing an interview for Pat Hong. We are. And it is great to be here. So we've just finished the tour. We just finished the tour. Um, it's been like 10 dates all across Australia. And tonight was probably my favourite night of the entire tour. Me too. I was at both <laughs> nights, Saturday yeah. and Sunday. Yeah. So let's talk about you as an artist. So you've had a pretty big year. You've put out one song and then another. So yeah. first you put out Magnetize. Yeah. Which is like the first time you got a rotation yeah. on Triple J. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, Magnetize was a really special song. We wrote it over Christmas last year and kind of all happened really quickly. It quickly became my favourite song that was kind of in the works and um, just made it happen and got it out as a single. And yeah, it was really nice. Like, and it's the response got an enormous it. amount of streams. Like, yeah, pretty good, thank like 300,000 or something like that. Something like yeah. that. It's I, need, I need to check. Yeah, I heard like that. it got played in supermarket or something. Yeah, um, someone messaged me the other day saying IKEA. And I was like, IKEA. that's pretty cool. It's crazy. Yeah. To know um, that your music is like playing when people are shopping. Shopping in IKEA. Yeah. Eating their Swedish meatballs. <laughs> it's great. What more could you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so after doing two singles, you have another one on the way. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I guess Better For You just came out. Um, and then since doing this tour, I've been working with Lanks a lot. Um, so, yeah, we've actually got a song coming out soon, really soon. Together. And it's like, it's kind of different. To it's really what different. Out before. Um, it's really stripped back. It's a. It's a piano ballad which is kind of like what inspired me to get into music was you know females playing piano with incredible like ballads so it's probably my favorite thing I've ever written yeah um, and, and really it's leading to a bigger release later yeah this year. yeah I'm working on an EP, an um, EP. Yeah. yeah so it's almost done actually I'm so working it should with... be out before the end of the year well I think it's gonna be next, next year. year yeah um, it's close, but I think I've still got another song to write for it. Um, yeah, but it's pretty much, it's getting really close now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I've heard that before you had Essie Holt, mm -hmm. you were Essie, just Essie? Yeah, I've done, like, a, yeah. I was Essie for not very long. Um, I think there's another Essie. So. Yeah, and I heard, like... Angie McMahon yeah like supported you she did for that one show yeah I did one show as Essie which was like and that's crazy because you now. look at where she is now yeah she's like playing playing the forum in like September it's really cool like I think there's a few of us that were sort of you know starting out at the same time and it's just so it's lovely to see where people are, are taking their projects and like staying so dedicated to it and Angie, especially, she's she's ridiculous. Like, I feel like she's going to be an artist of our generation. She's yeah. that amazing. Yeah. Because, like, she's been playing shows for, like, quite a while. But she only put out the song, like, online until, like, late last year, Slow Mover. Yeah. Yeah, that was the first one, And, like, she got online presence. And yeah. from there, it's she's just, just catapulted. And she's just playing amazing. a bigger venue every few months. She's playing the Forum next week. And... When I saw that being announced, I had a little cry because that's just such an it's achievement. Your girl just well, it's, coming yeah, all that it's way. just it's such a huge achievement. Like so many artists would never get that opportunity and to be able to do that with three songs is like phenomenal. So I'm gonna be there, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about thrifting. So you got yourself <laughs> a jacket I did. which you're wearing right now. This jacket. Um yeah, I went to Savers a couple of weeks ago and um, I was like, I'm going to just shop for some tour clothes that are unique. And anyway, I found this jacket and it was Gucci and I was like, mm, it's probably not really Gucci, but it's 40 bucks. I like it. I'll, wear, I'll grab it. And then I got my friend to have a look and like verify as to whether it was actually Gucci. And it turns out it is Gucci. And it's, and it's worth $1,000 a hundred times yeah it's worth four thousand dollars um so i i really i'm really attached to it now like i kind of just want to keep it <laughs> but it's also like if i if i need 
some cash really quickly. Just in case everything goes bad. I could bad. just do a little you eBay. Still have this. Yeah. And sell it. But <laughs> I think I'm going to wear it as much as I can. Like, I've done it to it death. It looks really on this cool. Tour. Thank you. And it's the genuine product. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Let's talk fun. about your cute little dog, Aww. Leonardo the French Bulldog. He's the love of my life. He's so great. Um, yeah, he's three years old now, and he's so snorty. And <laughs> well, he's like, like got a very flat face. He's a French bulldog, um, so he's got a really flat face, and he, he snorts, and he can only go for short walks because he kind of runs out of breath really quickly. Yeah, but he's and he's got like ten times as many followers as you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he um, he's like thirty. So tell us about his rise to fame from like zero to thirty thousand. It was so crazy because. Well, I just was starting, I just, when we got him, I was just posting dog photos on my Instagram. And I was like, my friends are going to get sick of this really fast. Yeah, so, so might just, as well make a dedicated yeah, account. I made an account for and him. He's just so photogenic. He's really cute and photogenic. And I made an account and he got reposted by like a few, I don't know, famous French Bulldog accounts in the US. But then he got reposted by Shay Mitchell from Pretty Little Lies. Yeah. Um, and at the time, I think she had like six million Instagram followers. Wow. So that kind of helped his following a little bit and sort of snowballed from there. Um, yeah. He gets, like, lots of free shit all the time. It's great. It's good. Yeah. He got a dog coat the other <laughs> the day. I was like, I really need to buy him a coat. And he got given a coat, so that's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's talk about this tour you did um, back in June yes. for Rare Finds. Yeah. So it was an all-female lineup. It was. So it's basically, it was like its own mini festival. Yeah. And oh, we all so fun. played around. Yeah, it was great. So we did Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne. Um, it was a Tisha and Mookie. Um, they're phenomenal. Like, being, yeah. Mookie's actually getting pretty popular now. Proper, prop, pretty popular now. She really because is. Because she just supported Five, five Seconds of Summer. Yeah, yeah killing it both of them just such amazing artists and it was it was really fun watching them play every night it was really fun to her yeah yeah what do you have coming up so coming up i've got some headline shows in september so yeah playing um melbourne at the workers club on thursday the 20th of september the workers club is actually such a nice venue i really love it yeah it's yeah. Like so small and it's nice. Cozy. Yeah. And intimate. It's nice and intimate. And like, also like so many famous people have like Play Day as well. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Lord Play Day in like 2012? I that, which is really crazy. So in 2012, she was doing a promo tour and she played the Workers Club and mm. it was only $10 entry in 2012. Insane. I heard that, I don't, I think this was what happened, but I heard that Vance Joy had his single launch book there for Riptide. That's right like as well. Night. Yeah, I remember that. And then Riptide exploded and then he had to Yeah, do like so he played there as well. Yeah, which is really cool. It's um, really cool. Yeah, I think we're going to get wrapped up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's say goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. See you at the next one. Thanks let's just look at the camera and then that'll be our thumbnail. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I wave at a camera, my hand is...